Good afternoon. Today is Friday, February 3rd, 2017. I'm Brianna Boutte. French soldiers shot a man who attacked them with a knife at the Louvre. We've got the details. And I'm Tristan Perez. A whale in Norway had 30 grocery bags in its stomach. Your CSN News starts now. Attention all students, Valentine's Day is coming up. Do you have someone special in mind for a single red rose? Maybe some candy? How about a serenade by Columbia's top choir? All of this and more will be for sale starting Monday, April 6th during Wildcat Way and lunch at the annual ASB sales tables. Bring a few bucks and have something nicely packaged and delivered to your significant on the 14th. Sadie's, Columbia's annual Girl Ask Guy informal dance is going to be March 4th in the CHS Commons. The cost is $6 a person and will take everyone back to one of the best decades ever, the 1980s. Tickets go on sale just after Valentine's Day. Look for the tables during Wildcat Way and lunch. Attention current 11th grade students. Course requesting is fast approaching. To prepare for this, we will be having grade level assemblies to show you all there is to know about the process of selecting your classes for next year. 11th grade assembly is February 8th, 10 to 10.30 a.m. The time to register for next, year is coming, for next year is coming up. The CHS course registration calendar is 11th grade will, be, will select classes on February 13th and 14th. 10th grade will select classes on February 15th and 16th. And 9th grade will select classes on February 21st and 22nd. You'll be using PowerSchool to register. Seniors, have you completed your free application for student aid? Do you need help with the process? Columbia is holding a FAFSA help night Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. in the CHS library. While supplies last, Flying M coffee cards will be given away to seniors who have completed the FAFSA. You will also be entered into a drawing to win two Steelheads hockey tickets. If you have questions, please see Ms. Talbot in the Career Center. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Do you know what reckless driving is? It is the operation of an automobile in a dangerous manner given the circumstances. It could be going too fast for the conditions, having too many passengers in the vehicle, or failing to yield to other vehicles. Did you know motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for teens? Seven teens ages 16 to 19 die every day from motor vehicle injuries. Reckless driving could lead to a fine, driver's license suspension, or worse. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 40 and the low is 30 with some snow and tomorrow it will be raining with a high of 44 and a low of 39. Back to you. Thank you, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, thank you, Boutte. A man with a machete attacked a group of soldiers near an entrance to Paris's Louvre Museum before being shot and detained, according to police officials. A nerve in a country that had been targeted repeatedly by terrorist attacks months before elects a new president. The attack took place Friday as the soldiers were patrolling the shopping mall that leads to an entrance to the world-famous museum, according to French officials. The man cut the scalp of one of the soldiers and the unit tried to subdue him with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Eventually, one of the troops opened fire, shooting the assailant five times, including once in the stomach, authorities said. They also added that the man had been taken into custody and was receiving medical care for life-threatening injuries. Researchers examining a whale carcass found 30 plastic bags in its stomach along with other human garbage. The goose-beaked whale was spotted off the coast of Norway on Saturday and was clearly in poor health. Marine biologists took the decision to euthanize it. The carcass was brought to Denmark for examination by academics at the University of Bergen. When they opened the stomach, the cause of the whale's illness became clear. It had swallowed a huge amount of human garbage, including 30 plastic bags. Officials say the plastic formed a blockage in the mammal's digestive tract. The SAT word of the day is enduring, which means long-lived, lasting, surviving difficult times. You could use it this way. The civil rights leader's birthday was commemorated by speeches that stress her enduring legacy. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.